5 o'clock. Okay. Thanks, Pat. Okay, so what if we had a trail that stretched 100 miles connecting Georgia's barrier islands? That'd be nice. That's the possibility being addressed by the coastal Georgia Greenways as well. It's a group that would like to see just such a thing. And to make their case, the group took to the wheels on a four-day tour that stretched from Jekyll Island to Sapelo Island. And some of that distance already has bike trails. But the group argues that more trails would be healthy both physically and economically. Communities in other states that have developed trails, tourism trails like this, it's really been a boon both to the economy and then it's also, there's a physical issue. You're giving kids and families a place to, you know, to recreate on a, on a low impact, relatively inexpensive scale. That these proposed trails would connect more than 60 miles of existing trails. And i got to say, my good friend Will Fell's probably right. I just got back from a week riding four of Florida's excellent paved rails to trails. It works. And we spent money while we were there. It would be pretty, and that drew no us doubt, there. for sure.